Dear brothers and sisters, wishes in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is our Redeemer. There is no salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which it is necessary for us to be saved, except the Apostles, chapter 4, verse 12. Christ died for us, therefore, having been justified now by his blood, all the more so shall we be saved from wrath through him. Romans chapter 5 verse 9 The God of all graces who has called us to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus will himself perfect, confirm and establish us. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10 you are of God, and so you have overcome him. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. 1 John chapter 4, verse 4 So be humbled under the powerful hand of God, so that he may exalt you in the time of visitation. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 You are listening to the voice of the gospel. The voice of the gospel. August 5th, 18th Sunday of Ordinary Time, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 6, verses 24 to 35. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me. Not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, What sign are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Give, sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. The Gospel of the Lord My dear friends in Jesus Christ, in many occasions when Jesus would travel with his disciples, people would stop them and ask for favors. This was not because they believed, but because they had heard about the good things that he could do. While our Lord Jesus never refused to give out a helping hand, he always had to tell those who were making a request of him that life in this world is transitory and we must also think about the things of eternal life. And remember that faith and healing go together. Jesus himself knows that the good thing that he does is sign enough for those that are willing to have faith in Jesus. In today's gospel we see the people who were following Jesus Christ given food by words and by loaves of bread. First, hunger for 
the word of God and hungry for food. The people remained and sought out Jesus who explained that food perishes but the Lord is eternal and that his bread will sustain them forever and that they must have faith in Jesus. Jesus reminds them that the manna came from the Lord as does the true bread Jesus himself. This time Jesus makes clear that it is the spiritual food that matters which will be shared in community and that the bread of God will thus give life to the world. My dear friends, in Jesus Christ, today's gospel says present food, past food and future food. In the verse 27 we see, do not work for the food that perishes but for the food that endures for eternal life. That is a future life. And 31 verse we see, our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. It was not Moses who gave you. It is my father. This is a past food. And the present and the eternal food. In the verse we see, divine. I am the bread of life. Jesus says. Then people ask him, Sir, give us this bread always. Yes, Jesus is the eternal food for us. Along with the physical hunger, this is within. There is within each of us another hunger, a more basic hunger which cannot be satisfied by ordinary food. It is hunger of life. A hunger of eternity. Nostalgia for God. The sign of manna was the proclamation of the coming of Christ who was to satisfy, satisfy our hunger for eternity by himself becoming the living bread that gives life to the world. By giving himself, Jesus does not temporary nourishment. He gives us the eternal bread of his word. It will nourish and give life forever. So my dear friends, today Jesus invites us to come to him, believe in him, look upon him, be drawn to him, to hear him and to learn of him. Without knowing Jesus, how can we ask Jesus, please give us this bread always, as they had given more value to the bread than its provider. We need to look upon Jesus. We need to go near to Jesus and experience each and every day in the Holy Eucharistic Celebration. Amen.